Grace to you and peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and welcome to our online Wednesday night Lenten devotionals. Our theme this year has been the journey of faith. We have heard from several members of the church and several participants from our online fellowship. And tonight, Barbara Rupley's uh, devotional will be read by her grandson, Zach. Next week will be our final week on April 6th when we will hear reflections from Albert Dermoth Sessian. We begin tonight's devotionals with the prelude. Let us pray. We praise you, O God of endless light through our Lord Jesus Christ. In him, your light shines in our hearts and reveals the light that never fades. As daylight comes to an end and darkness begins to fall, we thank you for the light of day created for our work and pleasure. And we bless you for the gift of this evening light and this time of reflection and thanksgiving. Amen. Our scripture lesson is Deuteronomy chapter six, verses one through seven. Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the ordinances that the Lord your God charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and his commandments that I am commanding you so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently so that it may go well with you and so that you may multiply, multiply greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul 
and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Hey, this is Zach, Barbara's grandson, and I'm very thankful that she trusts me in reading her journey of faith. Thanks to my family's heritage and examples, my journey of faith began very early in childhood. In the beginner's department of our church, I learned many songs, but a favorite was Jesus Loves Me. When I became of age for the junior department, I matured into a new favorite song, Jesus Loves the Little Children of the World. It was a new concept to accept diversity of, a, of different cultures, colors, and beliefs. I often attended afternoon Sunday school at a Methodist church and joined a Friday after school Christian endeavor group at the Baptist church. The junior department was taught by my mother who also played the piano. I soon realized that music was really a lifelong gift for our family. It was a great method to learn scriptures and concepts of Jesus parables Mother also loved the little children and loved to teach us hymns from the junior hymnal. Remember the hymn that recites all the books in the Bible? We sang that over and over to memorize. The adult Sunday school was a big change from the junior department. We had six classes divided by ages. We met together for half an hour, then divided into study groups. My dad was the general superintendent who led the collective classes. It seemed to me that his plan for me was to direct my participation in as many church groups suitable for my age. The church choir was always my favorite. Even today, as scriptures are read, my mind hears the choir music that was written for the same scriptures and reminders of our beliefs. When I was 15, I was a member of, the, of Heidelberg UCC Church and was given the opportunity to join the youth cabinet of our Philadelphia Synod. The Synod covered 82 churches, and there were 12 teens and three minister vo volunteer counselors. We planned conferences, retreats, visits to individual church youth programs, and many work camps. After our youth assignments ended, many of us continued our social connections. We named our group the Flakies. We continued having camp retreats or renting the shore home of a friend for R&R. &R. Our church discussions never ended because all of our members were so involved in their own churches. Even our R&R &R was sharing, observing, listening, and learning. I'm so thankful that my journey of faith included footsteps with my flaky friends and count my blessings every day. Let us pray. Abide with us, O Lord, for evening has come and the day is almost over. Abide with us, for the days are hastening on and we hasten with them. Abide with us and with all your faithful people until the day star rises and the morning light appears and we shall abide with you forever. Amen.